and uh, and we tell them that unlike James Bond, this has to be stirred, not shaken, because uh, uh, we'll first uh, spike it, and I'll you know you'll see what it looks like coming in the line, and then we'll shake it up a little bit, and it really gets foamy, uh, and it really gets difficult to uh, administer. So uh, the uh, again, this is the older kit. This is the glass vial. There's two and a half grams, and it's going to be reconstituted with 100 milliliters of saline. The easiest way out in the field is um, in the kits. They have a double uh, double sided spike to be able to spike a bag of saline, uh, and then they'll they'll drop the 100 cc's or 100 milliliters of saline into the vial, and then they'll uh, and they'll mix it a little bit. So they would just um, spike the bag, then they're going to drop, and there's a fill line on the side of the bottle, there's a fill line when it stands up. So obviously they're not going to be doing this, right? So they'll be doing this, and there's a fill line located on the side, so they're going to have to spike this bottle. Pull it out of the bottle so we can see. So they're going to, get, they're going to fill it up, and get about it in there. There is a double spike inside the kit itself? Or it is. Okay. So you just see the trauma and how the patients might have a difficult time. It's like wine. It's like a is Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir? Yeah. Zinfandel? It's really dark. <laughs> so we have about a hundred in there, hundred milliliters. So they're going to swirl it. It's recommended for a minute, but you know when it's really hitting the fan. They're going to use. Uh, this is another uh, point we had to make sure is that they're going to be using the vented administrative set. Right, a normal administration on an IV bag is not vented, so because it's a vial, it has to be vented in order to, to get it in. So um, they're going to be using, and this is located in the, in the kit as well, they'll be using this. So that, that's still being stirred, not shaken. Um, and they'll, so you can see, right, looks pretty good, huh? So we'll just swirl it around. So they're going to spike it. So they're going to infuse this over 15 minutes. So they're not really calculating a drip rate. We're not using the micro versus the macro. We just need to let them know that this gets infused over 15 minutes. That may be different in the hospital. Uh, maybe you know you can have pumps and other equipment available too. This is going to be um, out in the field, right, where we just don't have that that luxury. So we'll just kind of uh, look how dark that is. We'll get it ready to go. It's like blood. True blood. True blood. Yeah. So this will be. Um, this will be piggybacked into the line, and then they're going to infuse this over 15 minutes. So we just tell them, take a look at the bottle in about seven minutes. They should be in route by now. In about seven minutes, half that bottle should, the bottle should be gone, right? And then the other half should be in maybe by the time we get to the hospital. It's just flowing in. So if you really give it some good shakes, <laughs> it starts foaming and bubbling, and so... I think because maybe some of this is expired, it's looking a little better. But we've had a couple cases where they've really kind of shaken it, and it's really gotten foamy, and it comes out of the line all foamy. It just doesn't look too good. So that's about it. I mean, it looks pretty good. We've had, we've used it a couple times. We even have reports of people's uh, vasculature turning really dark. I actually see it coming up in their arms and stuff, especially if they're using distal, uh, uh, cannulizing the distal circulation. They're doing an AC or something, it's a little, but they can see it like we had a, somebody had a hand and they could see it coming up, so it's pretty dark. 